But I also did an interview with um, Herbert Morrison, who was the Home Secretary uh, in the 1950s, I think. No, but be earlier than that, sorry, the late 40s, under the big Labour government, you know. Um, and he was had also been the um, sort of secretary or, uh, of the London Labour Party, you see. So he was a big figure in my research, really. Um, and this interview was a disaster. We, we, we sat, he was re really retired. He was still an MP, but he was effectively retired by the time I interviewed him. And, but we sat on the terrace of the Houses of Parliament, you know, overlooking the river, Mm. Um, and had tea and uh, I started by wanting to hear about his earlier life and I knew from what he'd actually written himself and what other evidence that for at least a year he be had belonged to a Marxist party there was a Marxist strand of British socialism you see and I asked him about this and he completely denied having ever belong to any Marxist organisation, you see. So I kind of just accepted that. I mean, I thought that was the thing to do. You know, I had no training in how to do an interview. And almost immediately he lost interest, you know, in the, in, in the interview. And then he got out, he, he, was, he had something rather like a handbag on his shoulder, rather unusual at that time for a man. And he got out a huge pair of scissors and then he started clipping at his fingernails and throwing the nails over into the river. You know. <laughs> and I just kind of knew it was finished, really. And that really put me off oral history, you know. It, I just felt that showed it was no use. I, I didn't realise that, that, you know, I'd failed in terms of doing how to do an interview with him. But he didn't respect me after I'd uh, accepted a whopping big lie like that.